let's take a look at a few functions and try to figure out the domains, okay? Let's start with this function. It says find the domain of f of x equals 3 divided by 2x minus 4. Now remember, the domain is the set of all x values that we can put into our function. So the set of all possible x values that we can put into the function. All right, so let's try to figure out all the possible x values that we can put into this function. Well, notice I could put a 1 in, okay, because f of 1 would be 3 over 2 times 1 minus 4. We could get a value out of it, okay? I can put all kinds of numbers in for x. So what you might want to do is figure out what can you not put in for x. Okay? So what value or values of x can we not put into the function? Okay? So that's kind of the question we want to ask. What values can we not plug into the function? Well, remember, we can never have division by zero. I can have any number in the denominator as long as it's not equal to zero. Okay? So the, really, the only number that I cannot put in is, what is the number that's going to make the denominator equal to zero. So let's figure out what number will make the denominator equal to zero. So I'll just solve this little equation. Notice, if x is equal to 2, okay, if I plug a 2 in for x, I'll get 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0, which is bad news. Okay. So the domain will be all real numbers except for 2. All right. So I'll write that down. The domain of this function, all reals except x equals 2. And that's not really very good notation. We could say this. How about the domain is the set of all x, okay, such that x does not equal a 2. That's good notation. That's called set notation. Or I like interval notation. The set of all numbers except for 2 is negative infinity to 2, union with 2 to infinity. Okay. So if ever we encounter x's in the denominator, we just have to figure out what values will make that denominator equal to zero. And pull it out. All right, let's try a couple more. Okay. Find the domain of h of x equals 2x cubed minus 5. Now here we don't have anything in the denominator. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that. 2x cubed minus 5. Is there any number that we can plug in for x where we're not going to get a real number to come out? Well, no. We can put any number in for x. There are no restrictions. Okay. So the domain of this function is all reals, or negative infinity to infinity. Okay? Let's try another one. Okay. Here's a function with a square root. Now remember, we can never plug a negative number inside a square root because we cannot take the square root of a negative. So let's try to figure out this domain. Well, what has to be true about 3x minus 5? Well, 3x minus 5 has to be greater than or equal to 0. If it's less than 0, we can't have it. We have to throw it away. So let's try to figure out when does 3x minus 5, when is it greater than or equal to 0? We can just solve this inequality. And 
And that tells us that when x is greater than or equal to 5 thirds, I'm going to get something that's 0 or greater inside the square root. Okay. So what's the domain? Well, the, the, the domain is all values greater than or equal to 5 thirds. Let's just investigate this a little more. Let's see. Let's pick something that's bigger than 5 thirds. Uh, how about 3? Three. 3 is bigger than 5 thirds. f of 3 is 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. So notice when we plug a 3 in, we get something out. Let's plug in something that's less than 5 thirds, maybe 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Uh-oh. We cannot take the square root of a negative number. Therefore, 1 would not be in the domain, right? Well, that's because 1 is less than 5 thirds. Anything less than 5 thirds is going to give you a negative number inside the square root. Okay? It's a little tricky concept. You might want to review this a couple times. Um, so basically, those are the three things that you're going to see. You're going to see functions with x's in the denominator. All we have to do is figure out when does the denominator equal 0. We have to throw those points out. Okay? You might see square roots. To find the domain of square roots, just set what's ever in the square root, greater than or equal to 0, and solve. And then you might have nice functions. I'll call them nice functions because the domain would be all real numbers. There's no square roots. There's no denominators. There's nothing uh, to prohibit um, any value of x from going in. Okay, so take a look at this lecture a couple times if you need to, and certainly try your homework. And if you get stuck, come to the Polya Math Center, and we'll help you straighten out uh, domain.